Now our question number three is a contractor plans to install two slides for children to play in a park. For the children below the age of five years, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meter and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the ground. Whereas for elder children, she wants to have a steep slide at a height of 3 meter and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the ground. What should be the length of the slide in each case? So in this question, we have to find the length of the slide in each case. Now let us understand our question with the help of our figure. Now looking at our figure, now it is given in the question that a contractor wants to make two slides. One slide is for the children below the age of 5 years and the other slide is for the children above the age of 5 years. Now slide ABC is for the children below the age of 5 years. We can see that the height of this slide that is AB is 1.5 meters and it is inclined at an angle of 30 degree. And this slide DBE is for elder children. The height of this slide is 3 meters and it is inclined at an angle of 60 degree. In the given question, we have to find the length of slide. That means AC in this case and DE in the case of the slide for elder children. First, we will find AC. That means length of the slide for the children below the age of 5 years. Now in right triangle ABC, that means in this triangle, we know this angle which is equal to 30 degree. We know the length of AB which is equal to 1.5 meters and we have to find AC. So for our angle of 30 degree, AB is the opposite side and AC is the hypotenuse. So we will make use of the ratio of sine. Now sine 30 degree will be equal to opposite side over hypotenuse and for angle of 30 degree the opposite side is AB and the hypotenuse is AC. So sine 30 degree is equal to AB over AC. Now this will imply we know that sine 30 degree is equal to 1 by 2 and putting the values of AB and AC now AB is 1.5 meters and we will write AC as it is. So writing the values here in place of AB we can write 1.5 and in place of AC we will write AC only. Now this will imply here we will cross multiply and on cross multiplication we will have AC is equal to 1.5 into 2 which is equal to 3 meters. Now we will find the length of the slide DE. This is the slide for elder children. Now similarly in right triangle DEB our sine 60 will be equal to opposite side over hypotenuse and for this angle of 60 degree the opposite side is DB and the hypotenuse is DE and we can see here that DB is equal to 3 meters. So our sine 60 degree will be equal to db over de putting the values here we will have this implies we know that sine 60 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 so this will be equal to in place of db we can write 3 divided by taking de as it is now this will imply on cross multiplication we will have root 3 into de is equal to 6 so this will imply from here our DE will be equal to 6 by root 3 meters. Now we will rationalize the denominator and for rationalizing the denominator we will multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. So this will imply from here DE will become equal to 6 by root 3 into root 3 and into root 3 in the denominator also. So this will imply here our DE will come out to be equal to 6 root 3 by 3 meters which is equal to now 3 can cancel with 6 this will become 2 root 
3 meters. Therefore, lengths of the slides are 3 meter and 2 root 3 meters. This is our answer. Now, our question number 4 is the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower. So, in this question, we have to find the height of the tower. So, first let us understand our question with the help of our figure. Now, it is given in the question that we have a tower. Let us suppose that AB is a tower and at a point C, which is at a distance of 30 meters from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. From this information, we have to calculate the height of the tower AB. So, to solve the question, let the height of tower AB be equal to H. So, writing H here. Now, for this 30 degree angle, we have to find H that is our opposite side and we are given BC which is our adjacent side. So, we will make use of tan because tan 30 degree will be equal to opposite side over adjacent side. Now, in right triangle ABC, tan 30 degree will be equal to opposite side over adjacent side and we can see that opposite side is AB and the adjacent side is BC. So, tan 30 degree is AB over BC. Now, this will imply we know that tan 30 degree is equal to 1 by root 3 is equal to in place of AB we can write H here divided by BC is given to be 30. Now, this will imply from cross multiplication we will have H is equal to 30 by root 3 meters. Now, we will rationalize the denominator here. That means we will multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. So, this will imply from here our H will be equal to 30 root 3 divided by root 3 into root 3 meters. Now, this implies from here our H is equal to 30 root 3 divided by 3 meters. This 3 will cancel with 30. Here we will have 10. So, this will imply from here that our H is equal to 10 root 3 meters. Therefore, height of the tower is 10 root 3 meters. This is our answer. Question number 5 is, a kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point of the ground. The inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degrees. Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. So, in this question we have to find the length of the string. So, now let us understand our question from the diagram. A kite is being flown here and the kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. And this is the string which is being used to fly the kite. The string is being tied to the ground and the angle which the string is making with the ground is 60 degrees. In this question, we have to find the length of this string. So, this is our angle which is 60 degrees. AK is given to be 60 meters and we have to find this length. So, in this question we will make use of sin theta. Why? Because relation of sin is opposite side over hypotenuse. Let the length of string OK is equal to L. So, we will suppose that this length is L. In right triangle KAO sin 60 is equal to, we know the formula for sin is opposite side over hypotenuse from our figure. This is our angle 60 degree. Opposite side here is Ka. 
and the hypotenuse is KO. So opposite side is KA divided by KO. Now we know that sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. This is equal to KA from our figure is 60 divided by KO is L. Cross multiplying we will get root 3 L is equal to 2 into 60 that means L is equal to 120 divided by root 3 multiplying the numerator and denominator by root 3 we'll have length is equal to 120 root 3 by 3 this can get cancelled this will be 40 root 3 so L is equal to 40 root 3 meters Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.